The film came about in a sort of bricolage kind of way. We had a core interest in dealing with pop culture and looking at, in this particular case, a celebrity icon and the way that they sort of create a by all the sort of different um, cultural pressures and interest in, in basically manipulating a, a celebrity, how they become the sort of intersection for all these other sort of front page headline um, concerns. Uh, but then they can also be quite distortive. In the case of Diamantino, it's a, a distortion that might be different than, say, Kardashian in the White House. When we finally were able to start making the film, which had a lot of, as probably most filmmakers do, many different setbacks. Mm. And we shot for five weeks, we were like, okay, this is a disaster. This is, I, I wanna cry looking at this film. And we kind of put it away for a few months. When we came back to the film, working with the green screen stuff that we had shot, which was like creating the games, creating the dogs, that kind of stuff. As we're starting to sort of play with those pieces, we were like, oh, Maybe that approach of, of, I mean, some people call it fix it in post, but to me it felt more like painting and, and, and editing in a, in a really sort of generative and, and uh, exciting way. It was like, okay, we can sort of rebuild this film. We kept the, the plot was actually there all along, and again, the sort of the central themes, but we were able to start pulling from stock images. So we were pulling in a ton of stock images and sort of putting those together with the green screen in a way that we had not anticipated. And that allowed us to then start responding to, let's say, you know, news events or whatever. So in the middle of the shoot, Trump was elected uh, while we were shooting, like it was like the middle uh, the third week or whatever of shooting. And I think Brexit had happened, what, a couple months before? But So those things hadn't been like written in yet. Uh, and so, for instance, the, the Portugal exit, make Portugal great again thing, um, was really something that we generated in post and it made a lot of sense to generate in post because when we looked at the references for these ads, they're basically just Con constituted of of stock imagery, so like we basically ripped off a UKIP Brexit ad and just like got some very similar um, stock imagery and put that in, and so that's been used throughout the film. Sometimes in a very heavy-handed way, and other times it's just in light touches. But think of images first. That's what cinema ostensibly is all about. Because if it's not, maybe it makes more sense to you know go into writing or some other pursuit.